Mr. GM made a tweet made a tweet yesterday he said that there are 600 and something items in the final fantasy store this was clearly a response to people complaining about the blizzard store and so pyromancer pyromancer had what's often referred to as an epic gamer moment and it wasn't just a moment it was a period of time and i saw like a clip of it but I'll watch the video here, and I'm going to show you guys about what happened. So this is Pyromancer. Obviously, he's streaming on uh, on Twitch. He's playing this other weeb game. I don't know what it is. But he's uh, he's streaming on Twitch, and people are asking him about World of Warcraft. Why can't you buy them with gold like in WoW? Hey, dumb fuck, you realize you can literally buy gold for WoW through the built-in in-game systems, right? You True. can literally pay real money to get the gold to buy them. What True. is the fucking difference? Dumb fuck. You can literally buy gold that you can use to buy gear. The difference is that you can grind your gold to buy WoW tokens. Yeah, nobody does that. <laughs> and, and everybody knows it, right? And the reality is like, yes, here's really what it is. Like, the idea... Okay, so this is really... All right. So this is the idea that Blizzard and Blizzard apologists give people. They say that... Oh, the WoW token is for those working dads. They've got two jobs, three kids, and one and a half wives. And whenever they come home, they've only got 35 minutes a week to play the game. So the WoW token helps them get into the game and really make some real progress. But the reality is that it's not Ted with two jobs, three kids, and one and a half wives. It's, uh, let, let's see, um... It's Jeffrey who's sitting at home on his fucking mo at his mom's house playing fucking the video games on the sofa off of his TV screen because he can't afford a monitor, and he's sitting there waiting for his neat bucks check from the government and another stimulus check that fucking Biden is gonna send him so we can spend the entire thing on WoW tokens to buy the few remaining mounts in the game that he hasn't already been able to farm. It's not it's not these fucking super casual players that are doing it. It's the fucking neckbeards. They're the ones that are pumping money into the system because they're the ones that are the most addicted. Am I wrong? Jeff, actually, it's fair because Jeff, you know, my friend's Jeff name actually is Jeffrey. And he did actually use his mom's credit card to buy gold back in Burning Crusade. I'm like, Jeff, how'd you get flying? He's like, I'm just really good at farming. And then his mom comes in. She's like, do you still need my card? No, nobody does that. <laughs> yeah. No, no, they... Most people don't do that. No. No. Hey, Jakester, you know how many old transmogs you can get in WoW? Oh, do you know why? how many old discontinued transmogs you can get in WoW? Oh, only the ones at the black market auction house. You know how many... Oh, you know discontinued, how much yeah. A piece of BMOG gear goes for? Depending on the server? It depends. Shut the fuck up, please. Your comparison sucks dick, okay? If you want to be a dick rider, and you really want to still, you STILL want to try and simp for that fucking company. Alright, alright, one, one minute, forty second. That's how long the enrage timer for this fight is. So, anyway, I, I, I want to say that, yeah, this is now, now we're getting into the enrage timer. Thank God, and we've got nine minutes left. Um, yeah, so this is great. Here, here's how I see it, is that, um, the Final Fantasy store sucks too. Like, you pay for the game, you pay for a sub, you buy expansions, it's the same as WoW. Final Fantasy shouldn't have a store either. I think the store is dog shit. But you have to say that the WoW store is worse because they literally allow you to buy and sell currency. Like, it's just worse because you can buy and sell currency. They're both, they're both bad. Like, it, it, like, I don't see why people are like, oh, one's good and the other one's not good. No, they're both bad, it's just that the WoW one is slightly worse. You're still on that train. You are still on it. You're, you're uh, I can't believe it. I, I literally cannot fathom how fucking dumb, blind, fucking... I can't believe it, dude. I can't believe the WoW community. I can't do it, dude. You guys are actually fucking idiots, dude. He's mad, dude. It's like if... Uh, I can't believe it, dude. I, He's I just, mad. I cannot stand... I can't stand... I can't stand the game. I can't stand the... This is the face of a person who's had to review World of Warcraft lore for the past five years. You have to understand this. This is the kind of person that has to deal with reading uh, that Sylvanas will never serve after she serves 
for two expansions. Nine expansions. Yes, think about it. Who play it? I can't stand the content creators who are still simping for it because they're fucking all of their money depends on it. So they stand around and pretend like they're not talking shit about other games to, to disguise the fact that they're terrified. He's sneak dissing Mr. GM here because of the fact that Mr. GM made the post about the Final Fantasy store. It's very clear that's what it is, and that's why they were arguing on Twitter. Uh, it, it, it's obvious. And um, Italian too. But here's the reality: is that the only real people that should be afraid of WoW dying are are like the high end competitive players. Because the majority of them have, I don't say that, I don't think that they don't have a personality. I think that they have a negative personality. Because they can be near somebody else who's interesting and not only not be interesting themselves, but make that other person next to them less interesting as well. It's like a, it's like a negative five and everybody's personality is a ten. You know, like they, they bring other people down at the same time. And the reality is like there is nobody who is more boring than a competitive WoW player. Now, I think that there are a few exceptions. Like, for example, I think that, you know, a lot of the guys in the Limit, I've met some of them, I've hung out with them before. They're actually really cool. I like them. But I'm talking about the people that want to sit around and run fucking Mythic Necrotic Wake plus 23 for the fifth time in one day. Like, I'm sorry, bro, but, like, please, I, 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 can, I would rather play Hello Kitty Island Adventure. And it's, it's just fucking boring. Like, that's all there is to it. It's just fucking boring. The reality is that Mr. GM, obviously, everybody's going to have a, a... They're going to lose viewers whenever they move out of their main game. That's just the way it goes. Um, uh, well, obviously, like for Final Fantasy, for me, obviously, I've done very well for a lot of reasons. But, you know, in, in historically, I, I've had the same thing happen. Um, but you look at, like, uh, Pyromancer. Like, if you are making content about the game... And you are, your personality is what drives that content. You can move to another game much more easily than someone whose biggest accomplishment is what number they can do on the screen. Because it's the only way that they have to cope. I'm fucking sick of it, dude. I'm fucking sick of it. I'm fucking sick of the WoW community. I'm fucking sick of that shit company. I'm fucking sick of that shit game. I'm sick of putting so much of my time, energy, and love into that fucking universe Jesus. to have it all crumble around me because perverted mid 30 year old and 40 year old men can't keep their fucking hands to themselves. And it's why the game sucks too. Of course it is. Of course, it, it, and there it is. Like, that's literally all there is to it. it I, I'm sick of it as well. It's just, it, it's so fucking annoying and obnoxious, man. And it, it is, it, it definitely makes the game worse, man. 30 or 40 year old men. Yeah, it's fucking weird. It's so fucking weird. The sad truth is that if these fucking people didn't have yep. such, such terrible inner, uh, inner, uh, <laughs> such a terrible uh work morale and uh culture that the game wouldn't suck well yeah it's like if you're sitting at your desk and half the time that you're sitting at your desk you're worried that some fucking manager is going to come up behind you and start rubbing your back that he just you know happens to only do to you and the other female employees your mind is not going to be in the place that it's supposed to be your mind isn't going to be in Azeroth. Your mind is going to be in the fucking cube crawl. And nobody wants that. There's, there's, they're, they're thinking about other shit. It's like, imagine, it's it's like the guy driving. Remember like, the video of like the, the clown making the fucking things while I'm trying to drive? The clown college? Nobody wants to deal with that. Dramatize much? Like a Hallmark movie? A dramatize much? Are you kidding me, man? These people get like PTSD from that shit. Imagine having somebody do that to you. It's fucking weird. Especially whenever there's like no, there's like no way to, to solve the problem. It's like, what do you do? Do you talk to the manager and then potentially get fired? Do you try to stop him and then have him retaliate later? Ah, oh, it's so stressful, man. It's so fucking stressful. I've never had it happen to me. But you don't have to fucking have it happen to you to see what's common sense. Maybe I wouldn't have to talk shit about level 60 boosts. And yep. maybe I wouldn't have to talk shit about the disgusting monetization and broken promises of things like Reforged, of things like classic fucking TBC, where you can literally buy them out for real money. <laughs> 
There it Maybe is. Maybe I wouldn't have to get that mad. Maybe I'd be willing to pay $15 a month for that fucking game, huh? I've given thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, dude. I I've have too. Thousands of dollars. There's a thousand dollars in books All those behind posters, me alone. Yeah. I don't want to fucking hear it, dude. I stood there and I white knighted and I fucking simped for Blizzard for two expansions straight, yep. dude. And you know what I got for it? Fucking nothing. I got nothing. I got a lot of wasted money and a bunch of shit fucking content. And a bunch of lore that doesn't make any sense because Steve the Newser can't write a fucking story if I outlined it for him. Let's introduce Thanos to the game and create an infinity gauntlet and let's redeem Sylvanas. Yeah. I mean, it is Thanos. I mean, let's be honest, the Jailer is literally Thanos. But it's like he, he's going around and he's getting all the different fucking Infinity Stones, which are the sigils. He gets all of them, he completes the glove, and now he's going to go and go to the fucking uh, the se sepulchre of the first ones or something like that. It's the same thing, but here's the difference. Is it Thanos has been crafted over 10 years of foreshadowing. And then he's also, here's a big part of it, a good character. Because you have a backstory on Thanos. There's Thanos talking to Gramora. There's Thanos who's actually intelligent. He says things. You like that. You like that. Thanos is cool. And he makes other people that are kind of assholes in his story look like little bitches. And I fucking thought, like, Thanos, in my opinion, I've said this before, Thanos is probably one of the best crafted, at least since Heath Ledger's Dark Knight. The Joker. Like, like th that that that's the last I think that he is the best villain since then at least and he is th like he's in the top probably five of like all time for like any comic book or like action movie I genuinely think that it is it, it was absolutely fucking amazing and to think that like you can just do that without having all the foreshadowing everything like that uh it, it's just it is so stupid they basically added Thanos into WoW, and they took out all of his voice lines. All the while, that, that's all what the it was. while, in the course of this single expansion, we have a new fucking novel, Sylvanas. We have Exploring Azeroth, Eastern yep. Kingdoms, Western Provinces. We have another one, Fails and Folklore of fucking Azor of, of Azeroth. Yeah. We've got another one, Shadows Rising. How many books are you going to fucking get out of me? How much money am I going to pay before I can finally explain the lore to the people that want to know about it to the degree that it's actually comprehensible? How many do I have to buy? How long do I have to go? How many videos do I have to make recapping the video that's recapping the video? Yeah. So that four years later, people still aren't having the misconception about your fucking lore because you can't publicly come out and say anything even remotely fucking worth listening to about it. Oh, oh man. My God. Oh wow. What a day. What a fucking day. He's wildin? Yeah, he is wildin, man. Like, that's what he's got to do. And the community's full of a bunch of broken-hearted people who feel alone yeah. and are now feeling weird because they're stuck between a weird spot of supporting the company that makes the game that they used to be in love with and not wanting to support these weird fucking ass-grabbers and Bobby who's running his fucking company into the ground by recruiting the same law firm that Ian Hazakostas formerly worked with to investigate their inner fucking policies. Well, this is a law firm. The law firm is very famous for um, breaking up unions. So again, it's like Blizzard could have, uh, you know, they, they could have done a number of other things. But what did they really do? What did they really hire? Well, the first thing that they did was they, uh, they hired somebody because, uh, you know, the sexual harassment stuff, again, like, you know, like, you don't fuck with their money. Whenever the they, they think the employees, oh, the employees are getting angry. They're going to start asking for more money. Like, oh, okay, all right, everybody, settle down. Well, let, let's go into fucking, you know, threat level midnight here. This is the real fucking danger, is that the employees might want to get paid more money. Tell me it's not a joke? No, it's not a joke. They actually, Blizzard, uh, Activision Blizzard literally did hire somebody who, or sorry, a, a law firm that's famous for its union-busting efforts. Yes, that's, actu that's actually what happened. Nothing suspicious about that, Bobby Kotick. Fuck. I'm so fucking mad, dude. I'm sorry.
No, you're not. No, you're not. I need, uh, dude. I need that out. So, I need that out so bad. No, you're not. You're not sorry. <laughs> this is a phase sorry. two transition. <laughs> I fucking needed that, dude. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I needed that so bad, dude. He's <sighs> gonna walk around. It's just like, what is this, dude? What is this? And all of these, and this, and all of those, and this, and that, and all of this. And this fucking meaningless act. That's sad. Yeah, that is sad, man. Down. I will never serve. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiots. It, it is sad. It, it definitely is sad whenever you see people that just feel like they are, um, uh, they, they feel like they're they've been taken advantage of and lied to and everything like that. I, I think that like, especially with Blizzard, people feel that way more so than with a lot of other companies. And it's sad for me to see that because I, in my opinion, I just want, I, I do think that in the long, yeah, they feel like they're betrayed, right? I mean, these are, you know, we've been loyal fans and customers for years and you know, to have this shit happen is just, it's, it, it's sad, man. I've talked about it a lot because I'm just so bothered by it. I've been stressed out about WoW for so long, dude. See, I never really get stressed out about the game. Like, that's one difference is like, for me, I don't really get stressed out. Like, if the game sucks, I just play a part of the game that I don't think sucks. And if I don't have fun, no, really, I'm, I'm not. Like, I get stressed out in terms of, like, oh, whenever I'm streaming and it feels like there's no new content and it's like, oh, what am I going to do? Yeah, 100%, I, that stresses me out. But whenever you're talking about, like, actual stress from the game itself, nah, man, that doesn't stress me at all. Like, uh, who gives a fuck? Uh, I mean, it's the game is the game, and I'll go and play another game. Like, uh, you guys, like, there's, like, a weird thing where people don't remember at the end of wrath where like we had no new content for nine months and then blizzard locked everybody into during cataclysm an annual sub to get free diablo 3 because they knew they weren't going to put out any content for a whole year like i remember these things and everybody's like oh wow this is new when did this ever happen before every fucking time it happened every time what do you mean the only time that it didn't happen was a burning crusade and the only time that it didn't happen in Burning Crusade is because people sucked at the game and they couldn't just get boosted all the way up in the Black Temple gear and then go do Sunwell, which is effectively what we had in Wrath because people got all the TOGC gear and TOC gear. It was a joke. And that's what happened. That's what it was. It was not, this is not new. This has always been the case. So I'm not getting stressed out about it because I'm used to it. Sorry for those of you that came in to that. I'm so sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Phase four. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry, and I don't feel bad. You Phase know why? Four. Because if that happened in this game, I would do the same fucking thing, dude. And I hope you yeah. know that. If I had play if I've been playing this game for seven, eight, nine years, and I and and Square Enix did us like that, I'd fucking do the same thing, dude. Yeah. I think one thing that people need to stop doing is getting emotionally attached to video games and putting their identity inside of the video game. Now, I know this is something that I've had to struggle with too, right? I mean, that's how I know that it's bad. It, like, you need to stop doing that. Like, it's just a video game. If it sucks and you don't like it, stop playing the video game. Th that's all there is to it. If you're, yeah, if the video game is bad, stop playing the game until it's good. It's your job, but yeah, but that's like a that's like a stream thing, right? It's 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 not my job to play World of Warcraft. It's my job to entertain an audience. Now, there, the reality is, there's a lot of people that are entertained by me playing World of Warcraft. Absolutely, but like in general, um, I do think that it's 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 a misunderstanding of of what the goal of streaming really is. But overall, yeah, people need to just stop getting emotionally invested in these games. Like, normalize taking a break and stopping playing a game whenever it's bad. And if you're playing the game and it is bad, then just focus on things that you want to do. Like, and wow, that's what I do. I'm like, you know, I don't like Mythic Rating anymore. I stopped Mythic Rating. Problem solved.
I'm not going to fuck around with these people anymore, man. Yeah, I, I do appreciate the video here from Pyromancer. I think that it definitely is accurate. Uh, I'll read a few of the comments here real quick before I, uh, I move on. Honestly, I can't blame him. He's right. We're all like this dude. Played some Warcraft 2 demo. Didn't really start following the franchise in one until 3. And never has it been so terrible. Uh, guy gave his life up for WoW and now saying WoW's treated him as unfairly as hurt. The thing is, he's right. Can't disagree with you at all. This hits so hard because it's true. Yeah, the thing is, like, here, uh, and I'm, I'm going to say this, okay? And I, I really mean that this is not like copium or anything. Uh, I genuinely believe this. Like, 100, 100% I believe this. I think that all of this bad stuff that's that's happening with Blizzard will ultimately be good for WoW. I, I think that it will. Because it... I, I think that it breaks a lot of people away from the idea that they have to play the game all the time. I think that it is going to kind of watch... It, it's like the Noah's Flood, right? Like, God has to had to bring in Noah's Flood to wash all the sin out of the earth. And it, it's just... It, it's what makes sense. It's no, I mean, it sounds crazy. No, it sounds crazy, but it's fucking true. And the reality is like a lot of the people that are working on the game, people are so emotionally attached to it. And I do think that like all of this like controversy did break some of that emotional attachment. And the positive to breaking that emotional attachment is people will start to look at things with clarity and they'll start to look at things with a, a genuine eye rather than trying to make excuses for every dumb thing that happens. So I do really believe, uh, I do really believe that's what's going to happen. Somebody told me the Mr. GM tweet. Uh, I'm going to read this and I'm going to talk about this just for a minute. Then after that, I'm going to move over. Okay. And this is going to be like literally like a, a three minute thing. Um, Mr. Jim says, I'm turning off the ability to reply to recent tweets. At least I can control some of the abuse through Twitter, but unfortunately, 325 common hate posts about me still exists. Uh, made some mistakes last 24 hours. We've got a lot to learn from this. So, Mr. GM is obviously talking about, uh, he, he's obviously talking about the, the thread that was made about him on my Reddit. And, and so, here's the thing. Um, Mr. GM, like, I'm assuming that you're probably watching this stream and this is bothering you. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to delete the thread. And I'm also going to say... You shouldn't throw stones whenever you live in a glass house. You had no problem tweeting and laughing and playing it off like mental problems, like playing off Pyromancer's mental problems whenever he deleted his Twitter, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. What happens whenever this gets turned around on you? Stop being a bitch. And the moment that this happens to you, don't go and cry to Twitter after you did the same thing to somebody else. There will be no more comments or negative threads about Mr. GM on my Reddit. I do hope you learn from this. Because you're at fault just as much as he is. And in my opinion, even more. Because you're going and looking for sympathy. Whenever you started the drama. It's pathetic. Let's play the game.